Like honestly, I, I've never seen a Mini with this original. And when I'm saying like original, I'm meaning like never been messed with. Like I've seen original Minis that have been restored, but they're only original ones like factory original and this car is factory original. Welcome back. Um, something a little bit different today. I'm going to give you a proper look around uh, my 2000 mile Mayfair. I've not really done many videos um, on this car and put them up on, on YouTube because I never really do anything with it. I'll be honest with you. The only thing I've done to it is, like I said, the wheels. Um, and that is that is literally it. Um, all, it. All it does is just sit in the garage at the back and does nothing. Um, like I said, this was the first Mini I ever bought. Um, and obviously I bought my blue one after that, which if you're uh, if you've been following kind of my videos for a bit, you'll you'll know about my blue mini, and obviously I sold that. And the reason I bought my blue mini is because obviously the mileage is so low on this one, it felt criminal to use it um, as I wanted to just use a mini and enjoy it. So that's why I bought my blue one so I could use that. Um, and I did probably three or four thousand miles in that mini um, in a space of sort of eighteen months, two years. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to give you a proper proper look around it, and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of the car as well and why. It's got, uh, got 2,000 miles on it. So, yeah, you might want to grab a brew and uh, I'm going to go through all the, all the ins and outs of this car. So, this car was registered on the 1st of August, 1989, um, by Evans Halshaw in Solihull in Birmingham to a lady called Miss Fenelope Hughes. Um, so, she drove the car from 1989 till 1994 when she uh, stuck it in a garage and just left it. For, uh, for 22 years until 2016. The tax disc is still actually in the window from 1994 as well, which is just, it's just mad. The reason I've left it in there, I know you've not got to run a tax disc anymore, but that tax disc there is such a significant point in this car's history as to why it is what it is today. Um, so I feel as though, you know, it's well well deserves a place in the uh, in the windscreen. So I've got a few bits there from the, from the dealer as well. So I've got bits here like the in-car, Entertainment, but it's got an optional extra radio in it as well. Um, and that's my limited mileage declaration form for uh, my insurance. And um, you've got like your consumer guide as well, which is just, it's, it's literally like, everything's like brand new. It's just absolutely mad. Like honestly, I, I've never seen a Mini with this original. And when I'm saying like original, I'm meaning like never been messed with. Like I've seen original Minis that have been restored but they're only original ones like factory original and this car is factory original. Um, like I said, I've got the service book here as well. So you've got like this, the service records here. So she had it serviced in November, 1989 at 276 miles. She had it serviced on the, seventh, uh, the 30th of July, 1990 at 497 miles. Um, and then she had it serviced on the 25th of April, 1992 at 1,552 miles. Um, and then the next service was due at 7,500 miles, but it never it never made it because obviously it got laid up in 1994. And like I say, the uh, the tag is still in the window up there from Rover saying that your service is due at 7,500 miles. Now, there is a 22 year gap in this car's history because obviously it just sat in a garage and there's been no trace of it. But if you know Minis, you've only got to look around this car to know that it's not it's not just some car that someone's put together and say, no, it's done 2,000 miles. Like, even underneath the subframe, it's still got like the factory markings on it when they check the bolts. Like, I took this car to um, Bingley Hall in 2019, I think it was. And the feedback that I got off people, people was like, no, we've seen, I've seen photos on your Instagram of it and stuff, but when you actually see it in person, it's even better. Like, 
it is so so original it, it's ridiculous it really really is um, so like I said I bought the car in 2017 um, from Richard Williams Classic Minis I say first Mini I ever bought um, and it's just I think I'd, I think I did well with this one buying this one as the first car um, hang on a minute you can see there I have to uh, cover my cover my address up and a few other bits and bobs on that log but number of former keepers one I am the second owner of this car in like 32 years now there's not many minis out there with two owners in a in 32 years i'll tell you that um like i said i've still got a bit of stuff here from the from the factory as well um or from the dealership sorry it's like say rover rover tags there as well it's actually still got which is mad you know when cars come with like dealer protection it's still got the dealer cellophane or like protection factory protection on the rear window openers and that's just that's been that's been on there like 32 years like that's mad um mot's obviously from uh back in the day a couple of mot's from when i've had the car and stuff it's even got like the welcome to your new car thing which will have been on the uh on the rear view mirror so i've got that and just stuck that stuck that in there um it's even got like the service complete completed guides as well which tally up with a mileage on the uh on the service record as well so i've got a couple couple of them um i've got the receipt in there for obviously when i had it adapted um like jeff goslin's basically it's nothing to do with the car but it's to do with the car's history obviously i'm one of the owners and um, it just if i ever sell this car it just lets people know kind of where it's been what have i done to it this that and the other um, like i said the car's currently sawn at the moment so like i said i've got the receipt for obviously sawn in the car um along with the mot's and stuff just to just to back up that the mileage is genuine as well and like i said i've only done 400 miles in this car since i bought it and i took it down to um mini fair obviously i've been gone 2019 so i've even put like the uh the pride of ownership when i entered it into pride of ownership um and even like silly little things like the uh the receipt for the trailer to get it down there so bingley hall from me is probably 70 miles away so like an 140 mile round trip so it again it just backs up backs up the mileage again this photo's on my instagram of uh when it was in bingley hall and being in the back of that back of that trailer that i hired as well um again i've got stuff here from when i service it um, along with the MOTs and stuff so I've just tried to anything I've ever done to this car even though I've done like really minimal stuff I've always tried to put everything in there just to try and create a bit of a history a history file for the car as well and obviously the last job I ever did to the car was the tyres um, again the receipts in there as well so yeah it, it's just it's just mint so what I'm going to do I'm going to jump in get it outside I'll give you a proper look around it and uh, you can see for yourself our uh, our original this car is. Been a while. Okay, so there she is. Apologies in advance if there's any wind noise. Um, I don't think giving you a good look around it in the garage, you'd get a good idea of what it's like all the way around because we need to get to one side of it. So, yeah, just uh, I've left it running for 10 minutes because I don't like just starting them and moving them like that. So the car is finished in flame red um, factory. Never been, never been sprayed. Never had anything done. Um, that one's going to be a problem, innit? Right, okay, so as I was saying, it's finished in flame red, um, all factory paint, never been messed about with. So like I say, this car, the only work that it's had done to it is I've restored the wheels, um, had them powder coated, restored the hub caps because the lady who had it before must have liked crashing into curbs um, because it was all scratched up and stuff. So I've had the wheel trims painted up again in the correct silver and had the tyres put in. They've not got the original maker tyres on purely because you can't get them anymore. Um, the Pirelli Centura tyres, you just you just can't get them. So I think I've put some Nankangs on it. Um, 
I don't think Nankang's going to be a problem because this car's only got about, I think it's 34 or 38 brake horsepower, so it's not going to be a, doing any burnouts, that's for sure. So, what I'll do is I'll start at the front of the car. So, it is a 998 automatic. Now, everyone's probably going, oh, it's an automatic, but to be fair, I actually think it's pretty cool. Um, if you drive it through the gears, it's just a nice mini you can just waft around in and it's just dead dead easy to drive i absolutely absolutely love it so like i say it's under the engine bay it's completely completely standard um untouched never been messed about with and um, obviously still got the original yellow paint on the block as well it's even got like the sticker from factory as well it's got the one on the air box there as well and um, that's kind of deteriorated a little bit the only sticker i replaced was this one um because you couldn't see that anymore so i even put it back in in the same place as what it was from uh from the factory so it wasn't even put on straight so when i took the old one off i just put it on exactly the same way because i just thought that'd be a uh, that'd be cool i say you've still got all the numbers and stuff on the front um even like literally everything under this engine bay is a uh, completely completely standard now when i bought it it did have some spot lamps on the front which i've took off um just to go for that original original look as well it's even got the evans Halshaw dealer plates on it with like the original screws which you just don't see minis with original plates on anymore um so again that's just a real real nice feature of the car as well um just to obviously show its originality and where it and where it's come from i say it's got the original lucas headlamps in it as well and um, so i'll go around this way actually it's like I say the car's on 12 inch steel wheels which is just a factory option i'm not sure if you could spec them with uh, alloy wheels but I'd have to look on the uh, on the sheet and see if it's had anything. But I know the option lectures this car's had. It's had a radio. You can see the antenna over there, a sunroof, and obviously the automatic gearbox is an option extra on this uh, on this car as well. But I mean, when you just look down the car, it's just absolutely mint. Even like the door catches are just perfect. The door cards are just in absolutely mint condition. All this Nimbus grey trim as well. Like if you know if you know your minis and you know Nimbus grey, like all these you can't buy these new. So this is all just original um, and again it's just a real real unique feature to the car as well like i said i've got the nimbus gray roof trim um nimbus gray door mirrors obviously all the nimbus gray bits inside as well so talking to the inside we shall uh, move on to the inside so i say completely uh completely untouched i don't know whether these mats are original or not i think this carpet was um like a premium optional extra carpet i'm sure uh a lot of speak to uh, called ed who's got a youtube channel called twin cam he actually did a video on this car so i'll leave a link to that um actually if you want to kind of know a little bit more of the ins and outs of the mayfair and stuff like that you can see the uh intake there it's just been pulled out of the way i've had to do that because i literally just can't feed it through with uh, the hand controls so obviously if i ever take this hand controls off or sell the car i can just uh connect that that air feed back up again and it'll be uh it'll be back to normal if i say you can see my hand controls there um real real simple to operate them I've not done masses of videos on these, um, but I'm going to be doing one about my other minis that I've got manual transmission. So basically, you just push it to stop and then pull it to go. And you can see how it pulls the accelerator down and then pushes the brake. It's like I say, automatic transmission. Um, you've got the heater. Again, just the overall condition of this car. I don't know how well it's coming across on camera. It's just, it's literally like a time warp. I've, I've never seen a mini as original as this. Um, and I've seen quite a few now. But yeah, it's just absolutely mint. It's even got the next service sticker in the window there from rover saying it was due a service at seven and a half thousand miles and the actual mileage on the car now at the minute is 2457 which i think i've done about 400 miles in it since i've had this car so i bought this car in 2017 i said it's the first mini i ever bought didn't know anything about minis but when i saw it i was kind of like yeah that's pretty nice that um and at the time i thought i was mad buying it but the more and more i've learned about minis i just think it was an absolutely great buy and i don't think I'll ever buy as a mini as good and as original as this ever because it's just it's just mint. And I reckon these there's probably less than a handful in the UK in a in this condition. So uh, moving on to the back of the car, obviously you got the Mayfair badges there as well, which is all uh, all factory. Again, you have got the Mayfair bits there, little automatic badge on the back there as well because obviously it's an automatic. Again, dealer plates on the back. Uh, again, you have got all the Nimbus grey Nimbus grey bits. So in the boot as well. I say you can just see like all oh, this is is original it's just it is pretty mad actually to think this car is you know getting on for 32 year old in august so there's the original tire the probably century tire that's never even touched the floor you can still see the uh the green on the uh on the tread as well i say all oh, this is original even like if you just look at the at the bolts that hold the fuel tank in like they're just 
they're just like brand new it is absolutely insane so if i pick up pick up this as well you can see like the subframe bolts are just nice and silver still um battery that's the only thing i've, I've swapped on it since i've had it is i put a new uh, a new battery on it because the battery died on me once um, i left it in my garage and didn't touch it for like six months and then went to start it and the battery was just knackered so i thought i think it's about 35 quid so i thought i'd just whack a new battery on it um but yeah it's got all the uh you can see the factory kind of sound ending up there as well um that's the wiring for the speakers as well which i assume again it's come with the optional extra and um, you can see the little speakers in the back there it's actually pretty good the uh the radio in this car considering considering the age of it so yeah that's uh that's it for the boot i say you got a little uh little pea shooter exhaust on it as well obviously fog lamp reverse lights which is a uh, standard of this of this era tell you what i keep getting stuck on that post pain in the ass that uh so yeah what else i say fuel cap um it's got a little bit of patina on it but again still in good in good nick she must have been a fan of birds um so what's it called the lady who owned this before me i say you got opening opening windows as well again apologies for that wind noise if it's coming across on camera it's also got a um an immobiliser on it as well i'm obviously i'm not going to show you where where it is for uh for obvious reasons but i found out about it when i first bought it i was like why is this not starting and i've managed to uh to knock the switch somewhere so but yeah even like if, if you look under the under the floors as well if i uh pull this up hang on it's even like look at the floors like it's just absolutely mint it's got like this rubber rubber thing there and um, even when you pull it forward there I don't know if you can see like they never even sprayed them proper you can see how like you can still see primer there on the uh on the tow board so if i uh pull this seat up two seconds Okay, okay. so in the back of the car you've got ashtray again rover for you there they didn't even spray the back of the cross members they were just absolute pikeys throwing these cars together and you can see why they never lasted that long because they were just near enough bare metal even under there as well you can see the primer it's just it's just absolutely insane the condition of this car it really really is um but yeah that is a uh, that is pretty much it i say you got the speakers on the back there as i mentioned earlier sunroof's pretty nice as well actually quite a big fan of the uh of the sunroof and that that in the summer as well you can actually detach the uh sunroof from that little red clip there and take the piece of glass straight out and then you just literally like an open top which is uh which is nice sun visors as well um obviously got the little mirror on it as well looks plastic to me don't even look like glass uh also you've got the tax disc holder there again the original evan southshaw one how many minis have you seen with the original tax disc holder in them? Like, it just doesn't, it just doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, that is a, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The, uh, of the car. What else have we got? Actually, just talking to tax disc holder, it's got the tax disc in it from 1994. So that's when the car got laid up and uh, she stopped using it and just parked it in a, parked it in a garage. But yeah, I mean, if you look at the, top of the car as well the underside of it as well is just exactly exactly the same so i think i've got a few pictures of the underside of it as well so if you can't see underneath from this video i'll uh I'll, what's it called i'll put a few pictures in when it was up on a up on a ramp when i bought it and like i said the condition of the car underneath is exactly the same because it's done about 400 miles since um since i've what's it called since i bought it now I'd love to take you for a drive, but there's two reasons why I can't. One, it's not got an MOT, it ran out, um, and I've not had a chance to do it. Or I won't take it out on these salty roads anyway, so that's why I can't take you out for a drive in it. But I say, it drives just as good as it looks. And uh, yeah, so that's my uh, 2,000 mile Mayfair in a nutshell. Right, okay, one thing I did forget to mention as well, it's actually still got both the original keys. And the, the, the coolest thing about these keys, she must have had a dog, and even the dogs chewed it, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed that style of, style of video, something a little bit different, um, and hopefully it gives you a bit more of an insight as to what this car's about and what I do with it, and yeah, 
how I ended up how I ended up buying it and stuff. So I'm gonna be uploading weekly again over the next couple of weeks. I've got loads of footage just sat on my laptop that I need to uh, that I need to get up onto YouTube because I don't just like having having footage sat there. So like I said I'm gonna be uploading weekly and uh, I've got some really really exciting stuff coming as well in the next couple of couple of weeks as well. So uh, I can't wait to can't wait to share that with you. So until next time, if you've got any questions. Always, as always, get in the comment section. And I'll get back to you, and uh, I shall catch you in the next one, which will uh, probably be somewhat on the uh, on the Cooper S. So I'll catch you next time.